he was uh, probably the most um, important, you know, man in my life growing up. He was always supportive in that. Really quiet, sweet gentleman. This is Matt Baumgartner's grandfather, Frank Shortino. He passed away a couple weeks ago, just days after his 90th birthday. Pictures of him and the rest of Baumgartner's family can be found all over the walls of what used to be Miss Albany Diner, now Shortino's. This has already had a two coats. Miss Albany closed in February. Baumgartner bought the diner car in the spring. Now that it opens Wednesday, he says he's glad he kept the car true to its prior tenant. We actually kept it all the same because I really love the interior of the Misalbany Diner and I think a lot of people did also. A Cuban restaurant, a wine bar, just some of the ideas tossed around for this place, but in the end, pizza seemed the best fit. Just, you know, people who are drinking late at night like to have a nice slice of pizza and there's a lot of people that actually work down here so they don't have a lot of just sort of quick, you know, good food to get at lunch hour. Why stop at pizza when Baumgartner says great Italian food was right at his fingertips? It's a lot of recipes from Utica, which is where I grew up, Utica, New York and um, a lot of recipes from my family's um, recipe books. Bob Gardner already owns several successful establishments like Wolf's Beer Garden just next door. He says Shortino's is his way of thanking the people who helped him get to where he is now. I just wanted it to be a tribute to them. You know, I love them very much and I thought it would be a good idea. Shortino's opens Wednesday at 11 a.m. Reporting in Albany, Megan Cruz, YNN.